Hello and welcome to the Baku Talk News. I'm Haru Ren. Now let's just get right into it. We're talking about the brand new reboot of Reboot Products today. Now, yes, I, if you don't remember, Bakugan's rebooting again with these Beyblade S toys, which we have seen in previous leaks. Now, some more leaks from Louis Chen on Instagram has come out. The first is the Bakugan special attack featuring the new Bakugan hammerhead that looks like it is in a Diamond Chase variant. So it is possible that Chase variants are returning to this reboot. Another product revealed is the new Bakugan Street Brawl packs. That's right, this is no longer a game of kids, it's now a street fight. It's gonna be a f street fight! From this Street Brawl set, it seems on the side of the pack you are able to attach the top of the two Bakugans on the attack ring. Now, I don't know if this is something that is unique to this attack ring or special attack Drago. I don't know if this offers a skill advantage, but it seems Street Brawl packs will feature two Bakugans, but there is one that features just Nilius that is becoming target exclusive. So this Street Brawl pack thing is really confusing. Not sure if it's offering something different than a regular one. We do see that Bruiser and Ventry are also getting a Street Brawl product as well, but like I said, the details on Street Brawl products are still really unclear. In a picture posted by Louis Chen on Instagram, that shows the character cards for these Street Brawls Bakugan, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the usual. Though Louis Chen has told me that the Street Brawl Bakugan are gonna have different paint variants, so that's the only difference. But something else that Louis Chen has posted is new cards from the reboot that features characters from the supposed new animated series they are probably going to do. It's not confirmed yet if there is going to be a new cartoon series, but we get a look at some of the new characters that could appear if that is the case. We see the new Dan Kuso, which is called Dan in this case. He kind of looks cool, a lot more similar to the Battle Planet counterpart, just wearing a red hoodie and gloves and no red streak in his hair. And the Magnus or Masquerade of this reboot, I think his name is going to be Backslash, unless they change it. He kind of looks silly, honestly. Maybe they'll change his design or maybe he'll look cooler in the final product. There also seems to be two different cards for Juno, and the final character card, Mia, looks to be the waifu bait for the fandom when she did. Views. I would know because I'm kind of digging her design. So far concerning the human character's designs, if there is going to be a new show, they're not too bad except for Backslash here. My speculation on these cards, according to Louis Chen, they are paper cards, so since we already saw the gate cards and the Bakugan character cards, these are probably ability cards, so the new game probably is bringing back the classic legacy style game, where you'd have three gate cards, three ability cards, the character cards help keep track of your Bakugan stats, and the goal will be to win three battles. How these ability cards are going to work, I assume the icons will give you initial boost to those stats, and the thing under the character name gives boost based on certain conditions. Like the bottom part gives 400 more fire attack for just Bakugan that had the dragon symbol. I could be wrong, that's just my speculation and according to Louis Chan we won't know for a while since these things they got didn't seem to come with any kind of rule book or instructions, just a QR code leading to a website that hasn't activated yet. So far regarding the game, it seems they might be going back to the style of the legacy game with some alterations. The character designs seem cool but the overall toy composition still concerns me. But this is all just speculation right now so nothing is entirely confirmed. But what do you all think of these new reveals, let me know in the comments down below. And also sorry for the monotone voice in this video, but it's past 1am here and everyone is asleep so I didn't want to wake anyone up. But if you're interested in staying up to date with the newest Bakugan news or catch up with Bakugan Legends, definitely give us a subscribe and enable notifications for more awesome Bakugan content. And this is a double upload day, so my latest review of Bakugan Legends is available to watch right now. Everyone have a wonderful day and remember, thank god for Rapid Fire. Bye!